welcome back to another video i hope you're all all right so this video is just a catch up um i'm gonna try and just keep it short and sweet because you know i am a waffler and i will go on for the longest time um so i'm gonna try and just keep this short and sweet it's nothing too much to report um but yeah i just thought i would come on and just update yeah have a quick catch up let you know what's what um going forward etc and yeah just to say hello and let you all know i am still here and i plan to return and to provide more content as well guys so yeah that is something i'm going to be working on is making more videos and getting them uploaded and all that jazz so yeah that being said let's just let's just get get into it um so yeah sorry about that motorbike hold on he um he drives past every night and uh yeah he's bloody noisy <laughs> and i've got my window open a little bit so yeah anyway lost train of thought but anyway so i think the last time we spoke I'm sure it was <laughs> about doing calorie counting now since then i've had a lot of things going on which made things a bit difficult i wasn't making the most sensible choices um i did try um at the beginning uh, and on and off throughout the past few weeks but it's just it's just no it, it it wasn't working and then i had things going on not not really going into it um because it's quite personal but i've had things going on and i've had to work through them and deal with them and things nothing nothing too bad guys don't worry um nothing 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 to dramatically have to say but yeah it's just personal things to me that i've had to try and work through um i've been dealing with quite a few things uh, yeah if, if you know then if, if you don't know um, I suffer with anxiety and depression I have done for many many years I am on medication for it um, I'll take it as it comes now I do do my best as best as I can um, but the past few months have just really been difficult and I've plummeted to the past couple of weeks it's all just caught up with me now um, my main triggers are not being able to look after myself properly because i'm just so overweight it's unbelievable i can't do anything i'm so miserable um i can't wear anything nice i can't go anywhere well i can go but i don't want to because i'm embarrassed and i'm uncomfortable and i ache um so i don't really make plans or anything um it's, it's difficult to breathe because obviously i'm so heavy and it just all sits on my chest um yeah it's just it's just not that nice i can't wear nice clothes i have to like try and cover up try and cover up my arms because they're just massive i have to wear like try baggy t-shirts even though my baggy t-shirts ain't even really baggy anymore um i live in leggings nothing wrong with leggings by the way i love leggings as i said before but yeah um i'm just uncomfortable i'm mentally and physically just uncomfortable and drained now um yeah it's just taking a toll and then I'm worrying about not being here long enough to spend time with my mum because of how unfit and unhealthy I am. And, you know, I don't I don't want to be without her. I really don't. Because <laughs> I'll be looking down from heaven, hopefully. Um, looking, thinking, well, I've, I've just took myself away from my mum now, haven't I? No one's done that. I've just removed that time I could have had with her. Yeah, so that's, that's something. Um obviously my dad that is the biggest one uh really struggling with that guys i know it's nearly been a year in june um if you didn't know i lost my dad last june um of last year the day before father's day um and he was yeah he was my everything him and my mum are my everything um yeah i'm 35 years old but they are my best friends and i love them to pieces um my dad was very poorly, he had stage four cancer, he tried his best, he did absolutely everything. Um, but yeah, uh, he went to heaven the day before Father's Day, so and I've been struggling since. I really have been struggling. I don't talk about it too much. I mention it now and then, but I, I don't really talk about it too much. Uh, I talk to my mum all the time about him. 
all the time, every day I speak to my mum about my dad. Every day, um, as does she, because my mum loves my dad to bits. Obviously, she's remarried, you know, not, not like that. They've known each other forever. Uh, they went to school together. They share some family together. Um, not like that. <laughs> but they join in through marriages and stuff everywhere. Um, so, yeah, they've known each other a long time. And my mum loves my dad still. So, not like that, as I say. Just, you know. So, it was always nice. Even though they weren't together, I still had that close relationship with both of them. And, yeah, not having him after having him for all my life is just been really difficult um and hopefully over time it does get easier uh, but at the moment as it stands it's really not it's still as difficult as the first day he had to go i'm really struggling really battling with it and i wish i could just speak to him and get his advice i mean i speak to my mum i get her advice on things but i do wish that i could speak to him about some things as well especially regarding weight loss i mean because i always went to him and my mum yeah, my dad was just brilliant. He was always full of wise and wonderful words. Don't get me wrong, my mum is as well. But, you know, some things is just not to talk to your dad about and have a cup of coffee and put the world to rights. And I just can't do that. Um, and I'm really struggling. But I'm trying my best. So this time round, I'm going to give it my all. And I'm going to do my best to make my mum and my dad proud. Because they wouldn't want this for me. <laughs> they would not want me to feel like this. Um, mentally and physically because it's taking its toll now and I'm worn out so they wouldn't want me feeling like this um, I know my mum doesn't um, as she's told me and uh, I know my dad wouldn't <laughs> so I'm going to give it my best and I'm going to do this this time I don't know I've just had a sh short sharp shock after being so low once you hit rock bottom there's only, it's only the only way left to go is up so I feel like the only way from here is now to slow and steadily go up. Um, cause I feel like I'm right at the bottom. Um, there is other things as well that I don't really want to get into. There's more personal things as well regarding my dad and stuff. And my mom, but I don't want to get into it. But that's that's the gist. And obviously being so incredibly huge. That it's making me miserable. Because it's ruling my life. Um, I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. I say I can. I don't want to. It's, it's, it's just too uncomfortable. Um, I'm always bloated as well because of my IBS. So I feel like eating good and eating clean is what's gonna can only benefit me in the long run. I've just got to keep at it. That's my that's my thing at the moment. With how my head is, I start something and then something sparks. I'm like, no, no, no. So I could get overwhelmed with things. I don't know what it is, but at the moment I'm just getting overwhelmed with everything. But I feel like... I feel like this is it. I know I've said that. I'm bored of saying it. I'm, I know you're bored of hearing it. I know it because I know it. <laughs> I know I know you know. That I know you know. You know. If you know, comment below. You know. Um. Yeah. Fed up a bit. Fed up to the back teeth of saying it. But I don't know. I just feel like I've hit, as I say, that, that bottom now. There's no There's no more bottom left. There's, there's, there's nothing left to go down. So I can only go up now, I think. That's how I feel anyway. Um, so I'm going to start working on me now. Uh, properly this time. And sensibly. The right way. Not the silly ways. Um, you know, like doing the one-to-one -one diet by Cambridge weight plan. It's bloody silly. Um, that's not me. I mean, it works for hundreds. And, you know, they do brilliant. That, that's good for them. You know, that, that's that's great. But it's not for me. It's really not. Um, and I've told, tried to fool myself too many times. Just because I wanted that weight loss now. It's not going to happen, is it? I've got too much to lose for a start. Um, it makes me miserable. I can't join in with any family events. I can't do anything because I've just got to sit there with a bloody meal replacement bar or a packet of pop crisps. Um, it's just not the same. I'm, I'm just not living my life. Then I just feel, I just feel left out, and that just makes me more sad. And uh, calorie counting, it's just not it. Um, it's too much to focus on, like tracking everything. I mean, it's a good way to go. Um, but it's not for me. I, I just haven't got. I just don't understand there tracking every little thing, working everything out, portioning it. I just it's too much for my brain to compute at the moment. <laughs> it's it's just too much. I need it straightforward, simple. You know what to do. Just do this. Just grab this. That's that. There you go. You're done. So you all know where I'm going with it, don't you? Yes, you do. So yeah, this Wednesday, um, I will be rejoining Slimming World. 
get it all out now come on are we done <laughs> are we finished <laughs> well if not it's tough titties because i'm not listening anymore <laughs> right anyway um yeah i'll be rejoining on wednesday this wednesday coming so today is sunday so it'll be the following wednesday coming that i will be rejoining slimming world i've already messaged my consultant who is absolutely a star i've explained that i've been struggling with my mental health and things and i've just been all over the shop um explained a bit, bit more things to her as well again not too much just enough um so yeah explained that um and said would i need to rejoin or would i just carry on with what i've already got so the choice is, the choice is mine i can either rejoin and start fresh or i can just carry on but i feel like i'm gonna start fresh because i know i've gained weight since the last time i went i'm not silly I, I'm, I'm i'm not stupid <laughs> i know i would have gained weight whether it be a pound or ten pound i don't know but i know it would have gone up since the last time i was there it's just a given um because there has been a few takeaways the past couple of weeks as well guys there has been a couple i think one was like a pizza and some wedgies a mcdonald's and a greg's so yeah there's been a few takeaways um but yeah that was that um but yeah i messaged her and explained and stuff so she said i could start fresh or um carry on so i just said i'm gonna oh, just, just forget it i just want to start fresh I, just, I'm, I know i keep doing it but i don't want to go in with what i've had or what i've done so I'll let it all go now um, from my previous before as well. Um, if you didn't know, um, I followed Slimming World a few years back now and I'd lost almost four stone. I got down quite a bit. Um, I was nearly 12 stone from 19 stone. I did lose a bit of weight before I joined Slimming World. Um, but yeah, I was doing really well and I didn't realise how well I was doing until yesterday when I had a meltdown. I was like, I actually did really well. Like back then I thought, oh, I haven't, this isn't good enough, I need to get some more, which I did, I wanted to get down to another stone, I only wanted to be about 11, I'm not being silly, even though for my height and all that I'm meant to be around 8, 9 stone, I ain't doing that, um, I want to be 11 stone, um, or 10 and a half, but 11, realistically I want to be 11 stone, if I can get down a little bit after that then fine, but realistically I want to be 11 stone, um, and yeah, I also asked her if she had my food diary because I ordered a food diary the last time I was there um, and I paid for it. Um, she ordered it and all that jazz so I didn't know if she'd still have it or if she'd sold it on maybe, I don't know. Um, but she said no, she still got it so bless her. So I've got a food diary, a 12 week Slimming World food journal. They're the new ones that are out, I don't know if you've seen them, they're slightly different to the ones we used to have. Um, but when I get it I'll show you anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a new one so I was like oh. So I've got my food diary, you know what I'm like, bite it, write it, girl, it just helps me. I'm a visual, um, I like to visual, visualise what I'm having, what I've got and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that being said, I have got a couple of things off TikTok as well. Um, I'll show you this first. Um, I did get this off TikTok, I got my mum one as well because um, she did lose her mum and dad a few years now. Um, mum was 2010 my granddad and when my nan was 2012 and she still struggles as well um we expected i miss them oh my goodness so so much as well um love them amazing grandparents they do anything for their grandchildren the seven grandchildren and they do anything for any of us they are lovely humans and i go and visit their um very often at the cemetery and spruce them up and stuff because they're in Western, so that's nice. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got my mum one of these. Um, this is to help with my mental health and to deal with stuff. Um, as I say, I like to write things and it helps me take things in. Um, so I got my mum one and I got me one. Obviously, mine's more based towards like, my dad and my feelings and stuff. I'm sure my nan and granddad will make an appearance in this book. Um, but yeah, so it's just to help... Um, I don't know if you'll find it silly or whatnot, but I thought I'd share this in case it helps somebody else. But it's called a Grief Relief Journal. I don't know if you can see that. Grief Relief Journal. And they're by Night Owl. Um, that's their logo. I don't know if you have TikTok. They might be on e the eBay, maybe. I'm not sure. This was £13. But it's a massive book. It's got um, loads of stuff in here to fill out. Um, it's, it's really nice 
um i feel like it's just it's just gonna help really it's got nice little wordings on some of the pages um it's got um write a letter to your loved one telling them what they mean to you you know pages like that re regarding your loved ones um what was your first memory of your loved ones i'm grateful for the time i had with my loved one um so there's something about that about your loved ones um, and then there's one for emotions and feelings it's all sorts of different bits and bobs in here right about a time when you felt strong a strong emotion today um what emotions come when you think about your loved one um and there is i think it's like a mind, oh, mindfulness and self-care as well there's bits on that oh, nearly dropped it i can't open them sorry um so you've got things like right about a time when you felt particularly proud of yourself for taking care of yourself what did you do to, to take care of yourself today what do you practice that's not that one is it that's what other things you do to relax you know there's, there's all there's all sorts guys um but it is a big old hefty book um i just feel like it might help so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start doing this i'm gonna do like a page a day or a couple of pages in the evening with a cup of tea just watching a bit of tv maybe in the background and then just take some time out just to sit and do this i just feel like it might help i don't know it might be silly as i say but I, I just thought i'd share this just in case somebody else may find this useful so yeah i got that and then weight loss wise i dug this out i had this from before i'm not sure if you remember it but i did buy a chalkboard pen um because chalk doing my idea <laughs> so gross um but yeah so i'll just pop that on the bottom and then it just says you know you can pop it on each one and then you've got pounds lost this week pounds still target pounds lost so far and then you just write it on each little piece so i'm going to hang that up on my wall just so i can see because some some weeks you won't lose some weeks you would have put on a little bit but then it's the overall loss that you want to pay attention to so as long as you can see it you know you've done it okay uh this has got my start weight on from when i started a couple of weeks ago so it might be more do not judge my weight guys because it's taken a lot to share this with you um but i got this uh laminated sheet it's a year's worth of weighing so you can either do it for what you lose each week or maintain or gain each week or you can just put your total weight each week which is what i think i'm going to do because i want to visualize the actual weight scales going down um, so it's a year weight tracker and you've got your start weight and then you've got all your little little weighing scales for your tracking of your, your weight and then you've got the end ending weight so yeah there's what it was i might be more than that i don't know i'll update you um but yeah then you just pop in whatever you want to pop in so as i say you can just do what your week's results were that week or your total weight going through which is what i'm going to do <laughs> yeah and then you've got the end once you've done it so that's a year's worth so i think that's good again tick tock because that was i think 2.99 yeah it's laminated as well so that's handy so i'm just writing mine in a permanent pen and then this i got <laughs> this is for a year this isn't a food diary this is just a weight tracker for the year um so it's just bought my weight loss tracker strive for progress not perfection so i can do that <laughs> so yeah it's just really nice i just like the pattern if i'm honest i don't know um i can't remember who this was by it's not us it's not the same one we're not the same company um it doesn't say on here so but it was tiktok so if you just pop it in you'll see if you have tiktok and then it's just got different bits which is nice and it just says the beginning so your name your start date which i'll have to get rid of now because that was from when i was doing calorie counting so i'll have to it's going to make it look messy but it's fine um i'll just tip exit out and write over um my start weight I'm, again i might have to tip x and start over and then your goal weight so yeah, just just nice um but as i say i'll probably ha oh well i'll have to tip x that out and rewrite it um and i'll probably have to change that as well but that's my goal weight it's nice and shiny again i use you can use a normal pen but i've been using a 
permanent marker. I really can't get these pages. Oh, here we go. Then you got weight loss goals. Um, so you got weight loss goals, and you tick them off as you get to them. Um, and I've put lose nine slash ten stone. Don't know. Wear a size sixteen. Go down. Wear a size fourteen. Be able to walk and not to be able to rest all the time. And I've still got a few more goals there. So once I get into Slimming World again, I'll be like, okay, that's a goal I want. So again, they're for the year. So I didn't want to rush them. Um, so I want to take my time thinking what I want to achieve throughout the year. So yeah, you get the goals page. And then, I really have to. Then you get your weekly weigh-in. So again, this is for the year. Um, so you get that page it goes all the way up to week 52 for the first one and then again it's the same on that side and then you get milestone rewards i haven't thought of any yet so i'm gonna have a little thing but you get a little milestones reward so for you get half half stone so seven pounds one stone one and a half stone all the way down to eight stone and you've got your little tick box so what rewards you know not to reward myself with food maybe I could fancy meal or something one time. I don't know. Um, I am still going to be having a cheat meal once a week. Um, cheat meal, not a cheat day. So on a Wednesday evening, I will have just whatever I want for my tea. Just going back to how I used to do it. I'm not saying that's how you got to do it. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, um, I don't know what I want to fill out there yet, but I'll have a think and I'll do it. And you've got your monthly weigh-ins. So the total loss throughout the month for the year. Each little box. And then you get the pound lost chart. So it goes up to £100 um, and you just mark it off as you go. I have popped little stickers on, so that's for half a stone. Um, and then it's one stone, two stone, three stone, four stone, five stone, six stones each star. I know that's a stone bracket uh, gone down. So yeah, that goes up to six stone. Obviously, I've got more to lose, but it'll help me. Um, so yeah, so I can see where the... The stones were <laughs> and then you've got four four months on each page there's only there's eight months total it's not the full year each month but you can choose what ones um is your measurements so i've done my start ones and then i've got three more there and then i've got another four on the next page so that's my start measurements so we'll reassess those probably in about two months so in two months time i'll do it again excuse me and then we'll see where we are and i'll come back and i'll show you and i'll share i will share it with you i'm going to share everything with you guys so i'll share my measurements and i'll share what i'm eating um all that jazz i'm sure they have a before and after picture in here i haven't popped one in yet i will do though um i'll pop one in and then i'll pop one in at the end of the year so the come december i'll pop one in i'm sure they have one of those pages in here i can't seem to find it missed it out okay it's after the pounds lost um yeah my transformation before and after strive for progress not perfected so there you go i just feel like it's a nice little i just I don't know i just look at it uh, it's like a green it's like a yeah greeny gray but it's not really showing very well on the camera um but yeah before and after so i will pop one in here um i'll do that soon in the next couple of weeks um because i've got one of those cameras you take a picture and it just pops out like a polaroid but it's not it's through bluetooth um so i've got one of those so i will pop one in and then uh december i will pop one in here just to just to see and then probably by then i'll have ordered another one ready for the next year because it's going to take me a while let's be honest it took me about four years last time because i've got underactive thyroids as well if you didn't know so slow and steady wins the race absolutely um underactive thyroids ibs yeah you name it guys <laughs> so that's what i've got to keep me on track and then i will have my food diary um yeah and i'll be all good to go so i will be filling these things out so i will share them with you each week on the way day um let you know how that's going and um, i don't expect to last every week i'm being realistic um as i say with what with my personal reasons um, and life uh as long as i keep going keep chipping away it doesn't matter um, but I will share it with you every week. Um, I'll be doing more what I eat in a day videos. I'll be trying to do some more cooking videos. My kitchen is small. I have ordered a different tripod that I can kind of stand on my side. You know, it's going to take up space. But stand on my side, but you can angle it so it can show you downwards on what I'm doing. 
little bit easier but it's got a light ring light attached to it so hopefully i can do a few more videos like that um it won't be professional or anything because i can't <laughs> because i haven't got the size and the, the space anymore but i'll do my best and i will do some more white in a day videos um for those of you that are asking about me being vegetarian um i did mention in a previous video um i'm no longer vegetarian um, not food just not wanting to be for the fact that it's upsetting my IBS it did not agree with me any meat free products um, you know meat free replacements of actual meat things like that it wasn't agreeing with my IBS let's just put it that way I was bloated like a puffer fish or I either had to run to the toilet unexpectedly so it was making me scared to go out even more so I couldn't do that um, <laughs> yeah it wasn't um it wasn't pleasant so yeah i can't do that which is sad but you've just got to do what i've got to do um to make the best choices where i can be healthy where i can eat better um i have got a walking pad now as well i've got one i haven't used it yet well it's set up and i've tried it out <laughs> i've got a mum's have a go as well she did a little bit bless her she can't do much because she can't walk anyway um she uses a mobility scooter but she had a she had a little very slow walk whilst holding my hand i think she did just under a minute bless her <laughs> that's a lot for her to be honest um but yeah i've got that so i will be i've got no excuse to not be able to get my steps in because i don't like going out at the moment because of my size um and not being able to breathe very well and getting hot and sweaty and just uncomfortable clothes sticking to me and pulling and i have to wear baggy clothes to cover her up and it's even hotter especially with the warmer months coming soon um so yeah i've got a walking pad so i can get my steps in um i will be doing that daily from wednesday no thursday because i'm busy on a wednesday um because i have my mummy bear on a wednesday so wednesdays and fridays i see my mum um so it'll just be what it'll be but yeah i will be doing that and work working my way up to get my ten thousand steps a day i'm not going to jump straight in and say yeah i'm going to do ten thousand steps a day because i'll just let myself down <laughs> I need to like do achievable goals so I'll probably start halfway so I'll probably say like 5,000 steps a day to start with for a good few months and then work myself up because it kills me to walk and um, I've got an arched spine as well so it's like this so being overweight is making it more like this and it's just uncomfortable and it hurts to walk swollen ankles aching knees and joints <laughs> honestly guys you can imagine so yeah I'm, I'm gonna be realistic but yeah slow and steady wins the race this is what i'm gonna do and i will get my water in as well i'll squash because i don't like water so i'm not gonna say yeah two liters of water a day again no one liter of water a day until i can get there and then i'll up it so i'm not because i don't want to give myself goals and then not do it and feel like i failed because when i feel like i failed that's when i get upset and give up so i'm setting realistic goals of what i can achieve um and then once i achieve them after so long i will change them but yeah sticking to planet is the main goal so that is what i'm going to do that is where we're at this was a very long video nearly half an hour so i did tell you and i do apologize um it was meant to be a quick video but no no waffle waffle so i'm going to go now i'm going to try and edit and upload this video as soon as possible and yeah i will be rejoining slimming world on wednesday wish me luck yeah i will see you all then hopefully and update you and let you know what's going on and yeah i will be posting more videos as we go um still do some haul cool videos don't worry but you know i love me my home bargains it's my favorite place um i would literally live there if i could right i'm gonna go uh yeah thanks for watching sorry if this was a complete ramble and a waffle wasn't a bore but i just thought i'd get it all out in the open and get it all done and then it's out it's done it's done now um so yeah i will see you all either wednesday or thursday um probably thursday it's just easier because i'll be my mum as a on wednesday so i'll update you all on thursday as for wayne's that's probably what i'll do as well is i'll get weighed on a wednesday but i'll update on a thursday it's just a bit easier because i'll have more time <laughs> instead of rushing um I can have a little proper little chat each week and catch up uh yeah so love you all bunches thank you so so much for watching again all appreciated so so much honestly guys you, i know i know a lot of people just say i i genuinely do mean it um, not everybody you know i know you hear it probably a lot but i genuinely hand on heart mean it you mean everything to me guys you're so great you're wonderful i love you all bunches um your support is amazing um 
I'm really grateful. So thank you. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. <laughs> Um, hopefully you did so please smash the thumbs button if you did uh, <laughs> i really appreciate it and if you made it this far into the video put a love heart just, just pop a love heart in the comments you don't have to write anything just pop a little love heart so i know you made it all the way to the end <laughs> um good for you if you did <laughs> right i said it was almost half an hour video it is a half an hour video now because it's just shown me um right love you all bunch of years and i'll see you all thursday for an update after i start on wednesday i'm, ex I'm excited let's do it let's do it we can do this together guys we can we can we can and we will right love you all bunch of years and i'll see you all soon